I was speaking about this kind of level. Unless I get terribly excited. Hello. <coughs> Hello. I'm Storms. I think he's a dreamer, really. I mean, he dreams up ideas. If he's waiting for a prop, it has to be the right prop. He, he won't tackle for second best. When you're in the industry, you're almost churning out stuff. You know, people that work with him say, will you do it on Storm's schedule? He'll just say, well, I am who I am, accept me or not, and accept the talent I have, or forget it. It's a beautiful thing. Must be some joke here about the luggage and baggage we take with us. Storm and I met in Cambridge, and one day Storm said to me, I've been asked by Pink Floyd to do their album cover, you know, so I said, let's do it together, and we did Source of Full of Secrets. Suddenly we were doing album covers. We were in business. By the time we were 22, we were in business. Then it just happened and took off from there. At that time, Brian Morrison said, I have other bands. Could you do album covers for me for like $90? The Pretty Things, Alexis Corner, T-Rex, Mark Bolin. Of course we can, we can do anything. They in their own way were as cavalier as we were, and I liked that. We were trying to create, with Poe and Storm, music and vision that would have some kind of kinship. Maybe it was just the amount of information and otherworldly elements that had started to arrive in our vision. I think I'm one of the rare artists that actually got my own face on a hypnosis sleeve. I'm sure it was because Storm realized my inner beauty. Um, but actually, I think it was more so that he liked this idea of taking the mugshot, the face, which is normally the sort of selling vehicle for an artist, and then totally destroying it. Of all those beds. I gave Storm a drawing that I had done of, of an empty bed. He said, great, but let's have 500 empty beds. <laughs> record, record covers are brilliant as shit. I said that? I, I deny it completely. Any sort of meeting with Storm runs along the same sorts of lines, which is he sort of um, runs, a <coughs> runs a sort of interview to find out what, what you want and how it should be, and then goes off and does whatever he wants, whatever he thinks it should be. If you're sitting in a meeting and there's a record company there, he's, he's funny because he, he'll be like, yeah, listen, just so you know, we are not going to be paying attention to a thing the record company says, you know. <laughs> When Storm was trying to do a piece of artwork, I mean, there was just nothing that would stop him. He just went until it was done. And people were collapsing like flies all around him, including himself. Storm just really identified with it after his stroke. It just pulled him to work even harder and work even more and kind of use it as his outlet. You make this deal with him, and then a lot of money gets invested in this idea, and you wait with bated breath. He's very much like a film director while he's doing these things getting the picture that's in his head and the viewfinder. 